So we are on our way to Stowe, Vermont. It's about a two hour drive, hour and 45 minutes. We're going to the Ben and Jerry's factory to do a factory tour of how they make ice cream, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm excited, are you? I'm excited. Yeah, Miles is actually driving. The first time on this whole trip, 1,300 miles I did the first half, so now he can Woo! have the, uh, the wheel. There's no um, trailer behind he, me. He doesn't like towing with the trailer, so. But 70, almost 70 degrees. It's nice. Sunny. Uh, sunny. And, uh, Beautiful scenery. Yeah, it's very nice up here in Vermont. Very hilly. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. We got about, I don't know. It says hour and 17 minutes to go. And that's it. Obviously, Ben and Jerry's is very uh, conscious about the environment since they have a ton of solar panels. And they got a playground for the kids. Or adults, I guess. So it's a small walk from the parking lot to the factory. Um, and when you bring you can bring your RV and your travel trailer because there's a bunch of parking here off to the right. For class A, B, C's, and trailers. Uh, here's the entrance to the factory and the general store they have. When you go inside, they're going to make you watch a small 10 minute video uh, just explaining how Ben and Jerry's got started, their distribution, how the factory works. You cannot videotape the factory floor, so we don't have footage of that, but it was very interesting. And also, Ben and Jerry's sold the company back in 2000. Didn't even know it, that they don't own it anymore. Interesting fact. And then they have a taste lab. When you're done out of the factory, you can taste a new product. They have a woman behind a glass here that is actually making a new idea. And like I said, they show you where the quality assurance labs is. You just get to see how they actually make this stuff. So interesting. When you leave that, then you go back to the store, of course, where they want you to buy their ice creams, hats, shirts, t-shirts, mugs, stuff like that. We didn't uh, get that.
We did get a cheesy picture of me and Miles on a Ben & Jerry's ice cream lid. Got to do it. Got to do the cheesy vacation touristy stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's our video of this factory tour, which was interesting. You know, what it costs as well as $18 to go per, per, per ticket. And then this is just the ice creams that they make uh, currently. You know, wall of their prized winning ice cream combinations. And this is the bathroom area and just a nice mural on the side of the building. Kind of cool. Good place to take pictures of the whole family and the kids. Kind of keep them distracted, entertained. And the video coming up is the non-dairy versions they make of ice cream in case you're lactose intolerant. So they have ice cream for basically everybody. And then we have the Ben & Jerry's graveyard where old flavors go to die. And we did ask, did they sometimes bring them back? They said, nope. Once they're here, that's it. So I thought, shot some video up here. This is all the ice creams that have uh, gone to the graveyard and died. They don't make these anymore. So I just shot all the graves headstones that they have. And you can just look through them, and uh, it's kind of neat. Kind of some of the flavors that they had uh, that didn't make it. And I wonder why they didn't make it, because it's kind of gross. So that's the end of our video. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you like the content, please leave a comment. We always like to have the feedback, especially if you what you guys uh, want to see in the future. And we'll have another video next week. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching.